Flasche stehen geteilt. Ja, Batu, da geht schon doch nichts weit. Ja, Batu, ja, da nehm ich nichts weit. Ja, Snayu, da kommt schon stehen geteilt. Ja, die zu war ja zu bett. Da kommt schon. We will be joining the Kharkov church planning team there in Ukraine. There are four families already there, all of whom except for one has been through AIM. They are the Heinemans, the Nelsons, the Prices, and Lucy and Mike McDougall, who will be our coordinator when we are there for 18 months. The first three months when we arrive in Kharkov will be Russian language courses. We will spend 20 hours a week in the courses and then studying outside and hoping to learn the language to be able to communicate just in our daily lives. After those three months, we will then be able to choose which ministry we want to focus on. We can continue speaking English and with the university students who know English and also teaching English courses. But we can also work in orphanages and at a deaf school hopefully once we get there. The main goal will be to evangelize and just to meet people and to tell them about Christ and to plant more house churches in Kharkov. The thing I am most excited about in Ukraine is just experience, experiencing the culture and getting to learn the language and seeing how our team is able to work with the church there and to grow it and just further the kingdom of God. A lot of Ukraine's history is pretty sad. For uh, most of their history, they've either been conquered or been occupied by other nations. They've been occupied by, uh, by Austro-Hungary, by Russia, and even the Nazis during World War II. Also, during World War II and uh, just in the 20th century in general, Ukraine lost around one-third of its population just from uh, forced famine because of the Soviet Union and uh, World War II. But more recently, Ukraine's history has been much happier. They finally got their, their freedom and they're finally their own country. Since then, Ukraine has struggled to, find it, to define itself in between Russian and more Western views. I know that in the coming years, uh, Ukraine will, will define itself more, and I'm looking forward to, become, to being a part of that, and hopefully to help the Ukrainian culture know Jesus from the very start all the way to the end. Kharkov is the second largest city in Ukraine, with 1.4 million people. Of these, 250,000 are students attending the numerous universities that are in Kharkov. Many of these are international students, from Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. Most international students will be able to speak English, which will allow us to share the gospel even before we're able to communicate in Russian. Right now, there is one established house church of about eight core members, but they hope to soon establish another house church among the contacts they have made at the university. I'm looking forward to living in the Ukraine and experiencing the many cultures it has to offer. While some parts of Ukrainian culture come from its Russian neighbors, there are some parts that are purely Ukrainian. Let's take a look, shall we? Ukrainians don't look people in the eye in the street, but they're known for their hospitality and, are, and can be very kind if you need to talk to them. They also have a tendency to be superstitious, and so some things, like whistling indoors, can be said to cause bad luck. Food is an important part of their culture. They eat things like sallow, which is pig fat, and borscht, which is the national soup, soup made out of beets. They also eat bread at nearly every meal, and they eat lots of potatoes. 
among other foods. In Ukraine, Christmas comes in January instead of December, but it's okay because Santa is very much the same there. At Easter, they use wax and dye to make intricate designs on their eggs, unlike the plain ones we make here. They display these eggs around a loaf of bread. They also have a National Men's Day and a National Women's Day. While I'm in Ukraine, I'm looking forward to experiencing the food and holidays in another culture. I also hope to get involved in teaching English lessons. So we're going to be moving to Kharkov, Ukraine, almost complete opposite side of the world. And truly, you know, it's a completely different place. Um, you know, we can't just run to the nearest, you know, fast food restaurant or even run to the grocery store and, you know, pick up some Hot Pockets or some instant microwave cooked food. You know, a lot of it is grocery stores, you know, actual raw ingredients that you have to mix together in a pot or in an oven or something and actually cook food, you know, which is definitely going to be a <laughs> struggle for me personally, at least, uh, you know, and also another little thing, but something, you know, that we're going to be a daily struggle is laundry. They don't believe in dryers. They don't exist over there. You know, and when temperatures get down to negative degree Fahrenheit, it makes it a little tricky to dry your clothes. You know, and not only that, just walking down the street, you know, because we're not going to get a car. We're just going to be walking or riding the subway. Brushing shoulders with 1.4 million people, you know, and they're not going to be looking at your face and smiling and, you know, making you feel like a loved or appreciated human being. You know, it's it's going to be a lot of cold shoulders, you know, and plus, no Mountain Dew. I mean, no wonder they're so depressed, right? <laughs> uh, but either way, I'm just looking forward, you know, to going, the adventure of going across you know, the globe to find other Christians, you know, and bring people to Christ in a land that needs it so desperately. I just hope that you know God can use me in whatever whatever fashion or form that he sees best. Dobre dien. Dobre dien. How are no, you? No, no, no. Oh. It, it's um, kaktela. Хорошо, а у вас? Yeah, American Mhm. Mm yeah. Hey, somebody asked her if she wants to study the Bible. Uh, yeah. Mars, pochita, toilet, zvami. Vam toilet nada. Ukrainian culture. Ukrainian culture. You know, they'd say things were going to be different. Yeah. 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 Lots of people study in the bathroom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 We should ask her if she goes to church. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. It's a... Uh, okay. I don't know, okay. Um, yeah. Does she know God? Ask her if she knows God. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Does she know God? Uh, yeah. We, uh, 
as Zanietti o Corable na vos dušnoi pu duški homoi ugor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, um, um, maybe maybe somebody should just tell her that God loves her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, God loves her. Okay, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Bog, do mit što vi prigoto vjene sed. Oh, nice job. Good job. Good job. Oh, do you have a dog? I mean, uh, well, Sue, Sue, Sue. Um, okay. Okay, go this way. Uh, yeah. Okay, this way. Okay. We can do it. Yes. Okay. Um, well, uh, maybe, maybe we should ask for another, another Bible study. Yeah! Okay, um, okay. I got it. Uh, we do me a tea. Uh, sto muy idioti. Da. 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 Oh, 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 oh,